Hi everyone, it's me, Thang, and we are outside today, super early, because uh, I started bringing things outside one month early. So as you know, um, usually I bring my stuff out uh, at the beginning of May, the first or second week of May when weather is warmer, but this year it's actually gotten warmer one month ahead of time. So I've been, I've started moving my things outside um, at the early, sorry, at the very beginning of April. Yeah, it's weather's just getting warm. Um, also, I apologize. I am a little sick. I got sniffles. I can't breathe. Yesterday I was sneezing. Everything, the whole shabar. Anyways, I'm gonna show you some stuff. So here we still have stuff indoor because these are more expensive things or these sort of things I value a lot more. And these are things also like the Euphorbia Pasonii right there, where um, if you bring it outside, it will go dormant and it will all lose all its leaves. That's not something I want to do. So I leave all the euphorbias, majority of the euphorbias and also the cacti indoor, um, just so that way they don't, they don't go dormant. And also, like I said, more of my Haworthia or more of the expensive stuff. I can see my mom has taken over my space because that's what she usually does. Uh, we we kind of fight for space. Anyways, there's more stuff down here, right? Space has been taken over because she's making these for um, our family members where I think she's doing cucumbers and melons and all the other she's giving them away. Anyways, so out here, as my regular followers, subscribers, viewers will notice, um, things are looking good. Like we get we did the railings last year, so I don't think we're doing anything more this year. It might get uh, the guy to come by and do another railing on those uh, that two more like smaller railings right there so, so, um, because it is potential space that um, we're not using so I want to do that I can see we moved out the some of these plants so these are this is the Aeonium Medusa I've had for a few, two two years now and it's looking amazing this is the pink witch that we got last year and it's looking amazing uh, this is a champagne um, so all these are moved out and see like we have to organize all this my neighbor next door is still harboring pigeons because I know because I hear them like I hear them and I also hear the babies and a lot of you are like well they're just pigeon thing what's what's the big deal well city pigeons unfortunately are like flying rats where uh, they carry a lot of diseases right and their poop is very acidic um, as, as some of you will have like pigeon poop on your car and it just eats through everything so if you are in the city uh, please don't feed the pigeons and please don't harbor the pigeons if you're in the country that's a different deal you know but city pigeons they are like flying rats not something you want to entertain the thought of like having having close to you anyway especially like for myself who's immunocompromised and so my dad who's an elder who's a senior Right, it's not something you want. Anyways, we also have to clean up this whole entire thing. My mom's gonna be putting all her orchids up here. We have the pigeon nest, so that way we don't have to deal with any pigeons. But I do miss the birds, you know, the smaller birds that will come in here, um, which kind of sucks. I move the semper vivums out here. So the gold nuggets, sorry. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. The gold nuggets, I don't know, sorry, give me one moment. The gold nuggets are looking fantastic and the gold rush is also looking fantastic as well. We have a variety of, I don't know if you can see that, I'm so sorry. Variety of other ones here too, they look magnificent. Um, and then the other one too. And I've already set up the balcony hangers out here. And as you see, we do have the protective domes up here for the pigeon poop. And also people who smoke cigarettes, they like to throw it off the balcony. So I don't want any of that to touch my plant and also they like kind of like throw weird shit too so I don't want any of those to uh, touch any of the plants right so in here we're gonna put probably the echeverias or um, plants that are more tolerant to sunlight because they get like full blasts of sunlight right full blasts of sunlight and this is the spot where I do want two more railings I'm not sure really if I need that but it is potential space you know if you got space you gotta make it for your plants <laughs> right anyways I brought some plants out here uh, I brought the gasterias the gasterias are beautiful especially this bassiana black uh, variegated very beautiful definitely all the crassulas are out here now they've been out here for weeks um, and then you got sorry oh, my sickness uh, the haworthias oh god astrolobes and some aloes 
aloes are looking fantastic as well beautiful colors are coming out those ones down there I kind of shove them because I don't have space uh, but the that that thing needs to come out because I got to put that into the closet and then this whole entire place will be organized um, but then we got more plants on this side sorry let me we got more plants here all these aloes are perfectly fine I'm gonna actually water today because it's very sunny today oh did I talk about watering oh I don't think I talked about water so if you are gonna water make sure that day is very sunny like this right and the coming days are also sunny you don't want to water it when it's gloomy it's raining today and then the next few days it's also raining you don't want to do that you want to water it when it's sunny and then the next few days it's going to be sunny because then that will help to uh, evaporate the water in the the soil medium so that way they don't sit there and they don't die um, okay that's it yeah so we got some of these out my mom has destroyed some of my plants because she doesn't understand how pests work and that's okay she's she's uh, it's, it's just how she is we'll just leave it alone for like that for now but yeah some of these are outside and you see i bought i put the uh, this hanging basket here just so that way it can acclimate to the sun a little bit better before we shove it outside but it's also this is pretty heavy right so i have to wait until my mom puts her orchids there or we put more stuff there so what that way it balances things out so this way it doesn't it doesn't fall over it, it, it won't but i just i'm you know kind of scared uh, anyways these things these things are for the pre-order stuff so my mom has been hoarding newspapers you know stuff to wrap things in um, you got like, this crassula outside. This has been burnt by actually my my lighting, not uh, not from the outside the sun. But yeah, this crassula is outside. It's gonna turn red in a few days. All this is gonna be organized. But yeah, so we started to move things outside. Oh, I'm excited because I get to bring things outside a month earlier than usual, which I'm happy for. But also at the same time, I'm very scared because climate change oh, oh well anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i guess i'll see you uh next time when we move more stuff outside and you can see the transformation especially those of you who are new so we'll see if i'll i'll put the uh the new railings in this year well i don't know anyways thank you so much again and i'll see you guys next time press like subscribe surprise and comment down below okay bye